All right, welcome again, welcome back. My name is Jürgen Köhler. I'm a keyboard player from Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, you can find more information about me on my website, köhler-music.com. Uh, you find the link uh, below. So today we're going to talk about uh, controlling the sounds and uh, the edits in main stage via a MIDI controller. So if you're on stage and you want to change the intensity of a chorus or more drive or less drive or whatever, or the volume, um, you don't want to use the trackpad or the mouse, uh, that's very uncomfortable. So we're going to use a um, MIDI controller. A lot of keyboards, uh, MIDI controlling keyboards, um, already have a lot of knobs and faders on it. Uh, you can program them. Uh, this one is uh, too small for it, it has nothing but keys. So we are gonna use that um, MIDI controller from Korg Nano Control 2. It has a lot of faders and knobs so we can program in main stage. So first I'm gonna connect that one to the computer. Alright, so now we go into the sounds. Oh, this is... Um, Looks like it's a, a bad eye day today, so I'm gonna use my glasses, sorry. So we go back to the electric piano uh, we had in the second uh, tutorial. So you see this box called uh, Smart Controls. I click that one and in the window below we can choose uh, which smart controls we want to have in that box. So I, um, I'm gonna take the electric piano 8s or 8 knobs to control the sound. Now um, I click the first knob, it's now unmapped and down there I go to the electric piano, vintage electric piano and let's say uh, we choose the chorus intensity with that knob. So right now I can, uh, when I play, there is no chorus in it and if I turn this knob. Oh, you see it already works. Uh, the chorus intensity changes. So that's automatically. Um, if this doesn't work, if the mapping is not um, like you want, you can uh, right click this knob um, and edit assignment. Um, you see the slider knob, the nano control. You have to choose it, the channel. Um, and which knob uh, should change the chorus. So that's right, done right now. So that's all we need. We can uh, adjust the volume of the whole sound as well. So the master volume is uh, on the right side here. Um, if we want to change it with the MIDI controller, we go to uh, layout uh, to that rider on the um, left side and I click this one the output and simply I click assign and I move the fader I want to control the volume you see on the right side it moves then I can click assign again and right now if I play the piano I can adjust the volume as well and at last, uh, maybe I don't want to uh, change uh, the sound on the, uh, on the screen uh, while playing for the next song. So um, I go to layout again and I assign the going uh, forward or backward for the patch. I assign two knobs down here. So I say that one should be the one to go one sound back. Okay. and that one sign that one going forward so right now I can play next sound next sound back so that works perfectly so thanks for watching today and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial bye bye